Remaking the Crow, surprise, comes out in June, surprise, directed by Rupert Sanders, surprise. Um, I'm not sure if you guys knew, uh, he did Snow White and the Huntsman, Ghost in the Shell, uh, and now he's doing the Crow. He also did some other films, but um, yeah, I initially saw this trailer and felt absolutely nothing. I didn't feel that way about the '90s version. It was very much a product of its time. Um, I'm talking about the one with Brandon Lee, <laughs> um, the late great Brandon. Lee. When I watched that film, I would I was immediately transported back to the '90s. I watched it last night. Um, the look of it, the grunge, uh, the emo aesthetic, uh, the gothic. I'm sorry, not emo, but gothic aesthetic of that film um, very much lent itself from the comic, very source, very source material. And when I look at the images and stills from the comic versus to what the 90s version had brandon lee is quintessentially eric draven um now the film is violent but it's not gratuitously violent and what i mean by that it doesn't show heads being blown off <laughs> um you see people being stabbed you see people being shot you see people being thrown out of buildings but it's all done in service of the story um and even eric has this almost manic quality to him um and you're not sure if it's because of the power of the crow is it because the trauma that he's still reliving every time he touches someone and relives their lives and the pain he's able to absorb their pain and memories and everything you don't know what's going on and that's the beauty of it like friendly he acted his ass off um no i'm not discounting anything bill scars is doing i have not seen this film i every movie that i've seen with bill scars guard i love um, I love his role and the role he played in it. Um, the only issues, well, I have a couple issues. The only issues I have with this trailer is just the look of it. It looks like shit. Um, and what I mean by that is the look of Eric himself and everybody, you've seen this and read this thousands of times online. He looks like a Florida man, <laughs> John Wick. You know, he looks like someone who's just rolled around the dumpster and he's decided to avenge his love he's event decided to avenge shelly and i know they're borrowing a lot from the comic from the source material and that's all well and good that's that's all well and good but it's an adaptation right it's not like exactly the crow right like eric draven in this version of the remake He's not as pale as he is in the comic, of course, because that was just black and white pages. He doesn't have the almost jet black long hair um, that was in the comic. Like, I understand they're trying to set this up where this is not your dad's crow. This is this is the 2024 TikTok <laughs> version of the crow. And like, I'm not discounting this generation or anything like that. I'm just saying, like, I feel, felt nothing watching this. Um, yes, it's violent. Like, they established that from the first trailer. They also established, like, way too much. Like, I feel like I've seen the film already just by the fucking trailer. Um, and I know they're going with the supernatural element. They have to go with the supernatural element. I'm just not feeling any compulsion to pay a, for a ticket to watch this film. In the theater, you know, I, I want to wait till Tubi or Netflix has it, and then I'll watch it. You know, I, I don't see any reason for me to go. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, you remember uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, the 2020 film? You know, you remember the 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 small man eating teeth version of Sonic they had in the beginning? You know, and how people were just in outrage, like, what is that? Like, they had his legs, they saw the, the the size of his legs, like, just the look of that Sonic was horrifying, right? And the crew, they didn't have to do this, but they took everything that they'd done with Sonic back to the drawing board, redesigned them, and threw them back out there. And it was a success. We're, 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 we're approaching the third film, okay? Because they gave a fuck, right? You remember when Capcom reimagined Devil May Cry? Um, they wanted to wipe away the corniness 
uh, the 90s aesthetic of what Dante was, and he put him into this horrible, diesel, tattooed, stripper version of what Dante is supposed to be, and it did not fly well. It did not fly well with the fans. It did not fly well with the press. Like, even Capcom was just talking shit about people just not giving it a chance, you know? Um, and you see how that turned out. We have not gotten a version of that Dante ever. We've, we've moved on to Devil May Cry 5, right? Um, I just asked that Lionsgate... I know they're not going to do it. I know I'm just screaming out into the wind. I know they're not going to do it. That's cool. Because they don't give a fuck. They, don't, they know that this is not going to sell... A billion dollars. It's not going to be a Barbie moment <laughs> for Lionsgate. Let's just be real for it, okay? And if it is, and if it is, I'll eat my words totally, okay? But I, I know, I know, I know what's, what's, what the deal is. If they could just take, do a reshoot, and just airbrush or just not even include all those damn tats, give fucking um, Bill Skarsgård maybe a wig or two, or just let his hair grow, grow out just a little, just a little bit. Make paint, make make it black, okay? Give him the the Harlequin makeup that, that was in the comic books that they did in the nineties version, and just do the same movie, not the nineties version, but do the movie that they were intended to do, just with a different look. I'll be for it. I'll be like, okay, I'll give it a chance. I'll give it a shot, you know. But it has this Resident Evil <sighs> screen gems quality to it, you know, like where they just they're just put it out there. Let's just get it the fuck out there, and you know. I guess they're releasing it during the summer blockbuster season, so they have some faith in it. They have some faith, like, like okay, Bill Skargar was in John Wick, and we're hoping we can kind of like, translate that energy into this and make another franchise out of this. I don't see it, but it is what it is. So, yeah, I uh, I don't have high hopes for this, but... I trust Bill Skarsgård's acting ability. I like FKA Twigs. She's always awesome, whatever she does. Um, So I trust their ability to at least portray the characters of Eric and Shelly. Everybody else, I don't don't really give a damn about. But like, if you just take a little more thought and care and redo his look, um, yes, it's going to cost you money, but you may be surprised by the results, okay? So yeah, that's that's all I got. Um, if you liked it, do the things, like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, this is Cabs. I'm out.